Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about pager layout in Jetpack Compose. This is similar to view pager in classic Android UI. So let's get started. There are no support for view pager like things in Jetpack Compose. Fortunately, we have a nice library for that. And that is pager layouts from Accompanist. To use pager layouts in your Android project, in Jetpack Compose, first of all, you have to include these two dependencies. Currently, this is the latest accompanist version. This dependency is for the pager layouts and this one for pager indicators. It will help you to build tab row or pager indicator you may face a problem see here it is padding values if you don't use then the android studio may show a error after you have included the accompanist library so in this case you have to add this one add the red suppress lint unused material scaffold padding parameter after adding this, you will not have the error. Let's see how we can use a simple horizontal pager. First of all, it will take the count of pages. Suppose I want 10 pages. Here you will have the current page. And inside this you have to put your composable. I will put just a simple text. So you can see this is just a integer. Let's build it. So you can see our horizontal pager is working fine. So this is very simple to use horizontal pager. If you want a vertical pager, then you have to just change this item to vertical pager. And that's all. Right now, our pager is working vertically. Now, we will see how to use a tab row with our view pager or pager layout. So for that, I will use a list of strings as page contents or title, whatever.
so this is my list let me feed this list to this pager i need a horizontal pager so let me change that so at first i have used a hard coded integer right now i will take the length from this list so pages dot size now we have to use a pager state let me create it then we have to use a tab row first of all it will take the selected tab index property or value it will be obtained from pager state then it will take the indicator one here you have to mention the modifier for the whole tab row and this pager tab indicator offset will take the pager state and the tab position from here next we have to mention the tabs so we need tab for every item in the list pages dot for each indexed that means you want tabs for these items so inside this we have to use the tab composable i will put just text so here you can see the title i will just use it
next you will take the selected property which you can find from page state dot current page and you have to compare with this index also it will take the on click right now i will not mention what should be done when the tab will be clicked So you can see the tab row and the pager layout is in sync. But when I am clicking on the tab, it's not working because I have not mentioned what should be done here. So you have to do something to synchronize from tab to the view pager or pager layout. Here you have to do something so that when this tab will be clicked the page will be changed accordingly so let me show you how you can do this for that we have to use the pager state dot scroll to page and we have to mention to which page we want to go for that we have to use the index one but you can see it is showing a error it is saying that suspend function scroll to page should be called only from a coroutine or another suspend function so basically it need a coroutine scope so let me declare that So this scope I will use. So it is perfectly fine now. Let's see. right now it seems that it is not working because i have the tab row and horizontal pager within the scaffold let me use a column you can see it is working fine previously it was not working because we have not laid it out properly but anyway right now it's working but you can see it changes instantly but we need a animation or transition so here we have a nice function for that animate scroll to page
right now it's changing with animation so that's all about the pager layout and tab row hope this video was helpful for you thanks for watching